It's actually sticky. It's definitely been a second or two. And since I'm such a good boy, I'll go ahead and give you the update update. So, the old lady and I, we decided to go ahead and tackle this thing yesterday. So we got 36 bags of that quick crete right there. And uh, laid the rest of this down using my little, little cement mixer that, as it turns out, may be the best $300 I ever spent. Matter of fact, I got that on sale, so it wasn't even that expensive. It was the only one they had left. It was the display model that was already put together. And uh, yeah, so I got it like for $100 off. And then we went to Home Depot to take back the 15 remaining bags that we had left over to get 58 bucks back. And then when we came back, the cats had decided to use this as a playground. So it was absolutely full of cat paw prints. So it did not look as good, it does not look as good now as it did when we were done. <laughs> so I mixed up a quick batch, two bags, quick couple batches, and I just filled up little cat holes and we went across with this board. I don't have a float or anything, so it's not gonna be silvery smooth, but I mean, it's concrete bad for a barbecue, right? What do I care? And uh, so yeah, by this time tomorrow, or maybe about tonight, at the sun, well, it's morning time now, so it's supposed to be 80 all day today. This should just be about hard enough cured because it was hard enough, like the parts that I didn't fill in, they're hard enough to walk on now. And you might wanna put, I wouldn't drive a car on it yet. But within a few hours, it's supposed to be up to 400 PSI. And then by, within a month, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be to 4,000 PSI. So, got that. And then, you know, of course, that's my little grill right there to go there. And when I bought this, it's supposed to be the ones they put in the parks. And technically it is, but they fucked me on the, they fucked me on this portion. This portion is supposed to be way heavier duty and that's a rusty bitch. So I won't cook on that. But what I will be able to use it for is, uh, well, I mean, actually, I'll, I'm gonna probably take this part, I'm gonna scrape all that rust off that I can, and I'll spray it with some uh, charcoal heat, you know, black rust-oleum paint that can take the temperature and keep the rust at bay. And then I will just use that as like my, like my sauce fire and stuff. My fires from my from my pans and stuff and then I'm cooking in a pan. Pin pan. And then here's the big giant the big giant $549 XD Grand Champ Charcoaler Professional Grill and Smoker. And I had to go back. It's a good thing we had to take the cement back because we didn't realize it was box one of two and box two of two. I think I filmed a little bit of this yesterday, I'm not sure. Let's see, I went back, got our second box, took the rest of the cement back, came back, there were cat holes, so I had to go first thing this morning to the local Ace, pick up three bags of cement, one of which is extra, and that's done. And that's skinny mini. And then I think I got a brief, I got a brief video of the truck on the phone when it was pulling up on the Carvana truck. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. And she's a pretty little Nissan, she is. And 2013, 60,000 miles. Not too bad, pretty happy with it. And I bought it for the old lady with her money so we could give that black car to our daughter-in-law. And she's like, no, we're giving that truck to our daughter-in-law and you're driving the Nissan. And smart men don't argue with their wives. So I got a new truck, I got a good bad boy. <laughs> okay, I got my safety razor. As you can tell it's my safety razor because it's nothing. It's just a razor blade. It's not in anything, which makes it safe. These oil, they've oiled these things or what? <laughs> yeah, you see all the moisture so this is the paper so yeah it's like they've they oiled it like this one it's actually sticky like maybe it's a vegetable oil or something
I've been filming this whole damn time. Somebody pulled up the gate and I didn't know who it was. So I shut the gate on as they were pulling up because I don't like people pulling up in the yard. I took the lawnmower down there. Turns out it's our new neighbor that bought property, a few properties over. And he wants to, he wanted the Suburban. And he's like, how much for the Jeep? What'd you take for that? So I'm gonna sell the Jeep and the Suburban for $250. It's probably worth more than that, but I don't care. Just get them out of here. So I gotta read this manual and see what's what. So yeah, as soon as I got started, I realized I was totally gonna need help with this thing because there's no way it's a one-man job. All this shit is way too heavy. It weighs over 200 pounds. And uh, old lady doesn't like to be on film. So I got, I turned it off and I got her to help me. And we are doing pretty good here. Working on the side piece. I'm gonna take a little break because Kind of a bear here. We're almost done. Gotta get the side piece on. The vents for the door. Um, vent for the door, I guess. Not sure what all these pieces are. A little handle for the side door. We're almost done. Let me take a little break for a minute. Pick back up. Okay. We had a couple of a couple of funky uh, a couple of funky issues but no huge deal. We put on this bottom rack here, we really had to honk out one leg a little bit in order to match up with the hole. We had kind of push on the rack in one direction and pull out a leg in the other to get the holes to line up. And But then they did, and I guess as long as the, the bolt is strong enough to hold it, and that'll be fine. Uh, this was kind of a son of a gun because I thought the way this was designed was there would be like it would sit on this thing, on this lip, but no, as you can see, it doesn't sit on anything. It just bolts into it. So that made it a little bit difficult on the setup. So I basically, I took yonder pallet, which you cannot see, and I stacked a bunch of two by sixes on top of it. And then on very top, I had a four by, or a six by six, uh, big block, and then a couple of shims. And that was just enough to hold this up where the wife could just hold it from turning side to side. And then I was able to line up all the bolts that you may or may not be able to see that go all the way around this thing. There's about, there's a lot. There's about six bolts in that fucker. And then, uh, uh, okay. I expect I'll have to replace that before too long. I don't know how long that felt is gonna last, but I guess that's the, a little bit of stick. That's to keep the smoke in when you're smoking it. And, uh, so yeah. In general, I could not be happier for $549. I think this is a really good build quality. For some reason, this screw that holds in this rack, that kind of stabilizes this rack, is stripped and it won't stop turning. It just turns, so I'm a little bit upset about that. But that's not a huge deal, because this isn't, you know, it's got, it's already, it, it latches onto these, and these things are held in with two screws. So it, it latches over here, and then it's held in by this giant bolt on, the, on either side. So I'm good with that. You're just gonna be putting a little bit of, you know, stuff here to hold it and whatever. The one thing I'm disappointed in is this. This stack right here, the damn stack, has a bolt in the bottom and a pre-drilled hold, and that's it. So you can see it's a little bit floppy and funky. So I'm gonna drill this out and get another bolt and a washer and lock that bitch down. And then we'll be golden. So you got the double rack, you got the little smoke vent thing to let the smoke in slowly. You got your smoke box, I guess that's what this is, it's for all your charcoal to just sit inside and you fill it up with charcoal or your wood, whatever rather. And uh, you know, I'll figure out how to smoke before I try it. And then you get your little side door and your extra vent. So you really, between all your vents and your, and your stacks, you ought to be able to control the temperature pretty good here. And our cement pad will be able to be dry here and I'll bring in my, my other pits that I got. I got two other smaller pits. And those can come over here. And uh, and then yeah, then we'll be set up all around. Then we'll have, this will be the barbecue station. 